This is a particularly fun example of a wild pear growing a hedgerow in Ayrshire. These trees can grow anywhere between 100 and 150 years. The scientific name is Pyrus communis. They're probably not native to this country, but they are what they call archaeophytes, that is, they've been in this country since at least before the 15th century. So, not a recent introduction. This example of the, of the wild pear has never actually produced any fruit. That's because they require to be cross-pollinated and sadly there's no other pear trees nearby. Not very far from here is a place called Ockens, which is famous for its Ockens pear, also known as the toadback pear, because the surface, the skin of the, of the pear was extremely warty, although the taste was absolutely magnificent. That particular tree, the last one at Ockens, was blown down about 1790s. However, in Elgin, some pear trees were found, and probably analysed, were found to be the Ockens pears. So they were spread all over the country. They were first brought in at the time of Mary Queen of Scots, and it's thought their origin was probably either France or Norway. There are two other pear species found in Britain. One is the Plymouth pear, the other, the other is the very rare wild pear, Pyrus pyraster, which can be distinguished by the fact that it has thorns. One of the local farmers told a story that when he was a boy, about 80 years back, he used to walk along this road to school with bare feet, as most of them did in those days. When the road was first tarmacked, during the hot weather, the tar would stick to the soles of his feet, but he recalls climbing this tree. So that gives it an age of certainly well into 120 or more years.